Happy Advent Day! What are we gonna do? Can you guess? I bet you can't. We're gonna do these fun chargers. You could use them for trays or chargers for your plate. Let's get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do making this platter is I wanted this to be more of an off-white. If you'd like the silver, you could just keep it that way, but I'm just going to paint a coat of crinoline paint and maybe splash a little white swan in there. These are my DIY paints and I'm probably gonna have to do a couple coats. So I found these chargers at the Dollar Tree and these are the plastic ones. And a lot of us have a bunch of these around already. So it's a great way to upcycle what you've already got. If not, you could just pick them up for a dollar and revamp them all. So it goes on fairly easy. I just noticed I, I needed a couple coats. And I'm just gonna run a little bit of this white swan throughout this. Okay, we'll let this dry and see if it needs another coat. So my first coat is dry and you can see there are still some little streaks of silver. So I'm gonna go over with one more coat of paint and then we will let this dry and we will continue on. Let this dry. Okay, so for this next part, I am going to use this paper. You could use any sort of image you would like to adhere to the outside. I had done a, another one where I just put the image on the inside, but when your plate's on there, you don't see it. So I really wanted the outside done. So I'm using this paper, but you can use any design or shape or whatever you would like. So I cut around, a very fussy cut around the whole outside edge. And after doing that, then I started cutting the pieces apart so I had straighter pieces that I could form around my platter. So now you can see how I've used these straight pieces around the platter and I've overlaid some and I just made them go all the way around and I set my plate in the center. You could still see the beautiful frame. So now we're going to decoupage these down to our tray. So you just wanna pick a spot that you wanna start. Or if you have a section that you would like to be the top, you could start with that. It is going to curve a little bit into your tray like that. So I'm just going to use my Mod Podge and this is a little heavier weight paper. So I didn't want to use something too light and try to work quickly because this does dry fairly quick. Forming it in the ridge and bringing it down and just smooth each piece out as you go. If something is lifting at all, later you can go in and add a little more Mod Podge if an area dried too quickly. When you start, if you'd like to, you can start lining them all up the way you would like them and then pull them off and put them in order so that when you're Mod Podging them down, you know what you're doing next. Or you can just eyeball each one as you go and just put each piece down, layering it out until you get to the end. Just continue doing this until you filled up the edges of your tray. So after you've glued all your pieces down and this is dry, you can decide how you would like to decorate this before you seal it. I wanted to add a little bit of crackle and I'm going to stamp the word joy into the center. I'm using my gray ink. Now this is a rounded surface, so it stamps just a little bit different when you get to the edges here. Now I am gonna use my Swish Stamp, which is a nice large font, which is perfect for here. Okay, I'm gonna go like that. Now I'm going to use my black ink for this one, and I'm using my brayer. This is the one font stamp set that I do separately, because I overlap my letters. So I'm going to let this dry, and now, and then I'm just going to seal it. So my ink is dry and I am gonna do a little distressing 
with my Distress Oxide Vintage Photo. If you've watched me at all, you knew I was gonna say Vintage Photo. And you can totally skip this step if you would like. So now I'm gonna use my Minwax Polyacrylic and it's just a water-based um, crystal clear sealer. And it is a gloss and I think this looked really pretty on these trays. And this is also gonna reactivate, you can see this, my distressing ink so I can move it around. And it gives it a little bit of a distressed look. This also will seal my paper down really well also. After this dries, you can also do a second coat if you would like. I wouldn't put it in the dishwasher, but you can wipe them off to clean them off with the sealer on there. There you go. Wasn't this fun? So whatever image you wanna use, whatever colors you wanna use, just using this dollar store charger, and I said a lot of us already have piles of them around, you could make it turn into something just fabulous. You could do your whole table, use it as a charger for your plates, or just a tray for desserts or candles or anything you could think of. I'd love to see what you guys come up with, but whatever you do, have fun, happy Advent, Merry Christmas, and I'll see you soon.